All right, in this video, I'm breaking down three techniques that you can begin using today to start sounding more confident on your cold calls. This isn't gonna have anything to do with beliefs or affirmations or anything like that. These are three actual techniques that will help you start sounding more confident. So let's get into it. All right, the first technique is gonna be using a downward inflecting tonality and speaking matter of factly. Most SDRs, when they're new, they make the mistake of speaking with an upward inflecting tone and it makes them sound like they're uncertain or have a lack of confidence in themselves. This is a mistake I made when I was new and this is one of the biggest mistakes you need to fix right away and it's something you might not be realizing you're doing because it speaks volumes to the prospect even if it's subconscious. So two of the most common areas this comes to the player at the cold call opening and when you ask for the meeting. So at the cold call opening, here's an example of a downward inflecting tone. Hey Jim, this is Connor Murray calling from X Company. How are you? That's a lot different than, Hey Jim, this is Connor Murray calling from X Company. How are you today? The first one signals that I'm here to be brief and not waste time. I'm giving you a formality. Just give me a quick formality back and then I will go right into why I'm calling. The second one signals that you are not here to be brief and that you may not be respecting their time and that this call could go a while. And that's the last thing this prospect needs in the middle of their busy workday when you just interrupted them out of the blue. Another example of where this comes into play, and this is probably the most common mistake I see. It's probably the easiest fix with the quickest results is when it comes time to ask for the meeting. You wanna use a downward inflecting tone because it signals that you're certain about this next step, you're confident in this next step, you've been here and done this before. When you have an upward inflecting tone, it signals that you yourself don't even really believe in the next step here. And it gives them an easy out to say, uh, you know what, actually just shoot me an email and I'll get back to you and we can circle back on this later. So a downward inflecting tone sounds like, great, I'm looking to set up some time next week just to get introduced and aligned going forward. Are you free on Wednesday or Thursday? You can still ask them, but that first statement had a very downward inflection where the upward inflecting tone could sound something like, great, are you possibly free next week for a quick phone call if you're interested? And it's like, that makes it so easy for them to say no. So even though you're doing the same thing, you're asking for a meeting in both scenarios, the difference of, in your results will be night and day and you wanna be using a downward inflecting tone throughout your entire cold call. But these are two areas in the short term that can really boost your results if you fix them. And this brings me into the second technique, which is using assumptive language. And it's related to what I just talked about and I actually used an example of there when I was booking the meeting. So to start, it's not just about using assumptive language, a lot of it is eliminating passive language. So in that example I just gave where I used that upward inflection, you may have noticed I also used passive language like if you're interested or are you possibly free next week? These are really passive examples and it makes it really easy for the prospect to say, uh, you know what, just shoot me an email and we can circle back on this. If you keep everything about your cold call the exact same, except instead of using passive language at the end, you replace it with stronger, more assumptive language, I am telling you, your results will change night and day. I've coached hundreds of SDRs and this is one of the first areas I focus on. Get rid of the passive language, replace it with stronger, more assumptive language. All else equal, this alone will drastically improve, improve your results. So instead of saying, if you're interested or are you possibly free next week, say, I'm looking to set up some time next week or let's set up some time next week. Are you free on Wednesday or Thursday? It is such a small and subtle difference, but it makes the path of least resistance for the prospect to say yes. If they don't say yes, they have to object, which they have to be prepared to go back and forth to do that. This makes it easy for them to say no. This makes it just a little bit harder for them to say no, which will make all the world of difference on your cold calls. All right, the last technique, and this probably sounds obvious, but it's speaking concisely. You can't have any uhs or ums in your talk track, and you need to be your own harshest critic here. A lot of people think they got out the cold call script mostly right, but they just had to pause or stumble a couple times, and that didn't make a difference. I'm telling you, it makes a whole world of difference. It sounds like you're thinking on the spot rather than speaking with certainty. So here's an example of a talk track on a cold call where I am speaking concisely. It'll sound something like, typically we work with companies in the life science space on priorities related to planning, budgeting, forecasting, reducing reliance on Excel and manual processes in any of these areas. And here's an example of the same talk track where I speak a little less concisely. Typically we work with life science companies on priorities related to planning, budgeting, uh, forecasting, 
reducing reliance on Excel or any manual processes in these areas. So I said the same thing and I only had one uh, but I spoke a little slower and I hope you can see that makes a world of difference. To the prospect, that first person is gonna sound a lot more confident and like someone that could actually potentially help them and wor maybe worth taking a call with. The second person is the type of person that's just gonna get hung up on. And that's the slight margin of error that can make the difference here. Those two talk tracks weren't that different. They used the same exact words, except one spoke a little more concisely, didn't have any ahs or ums, and they sounded wildly more confident. So in the end, all of these things go together. Having the downward tonality, using the assumptive language, and speaking concisely together will make you sound more confident. And these are the areas that you need to focus on if you wanna start sounding more confident on your cold calls tomorrow or whenever you pick up the phone next. So. Hope this helped. If it did, hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one.